What's up everybody? Welcome here on my channel. Today I want to start something new. I want to do a series of videos called Diecast for Beginners and in these videos I want to answer questions you might ask yourself if you are new to this hobby. I mean everyone's a beginner at one point and so was I. I started out buying some random Hot Wheels cars and then I was getting more and more into this hobby and I wanted to know more and I went to online forums and uh, for example they were talking about soup and SDH and super treasure hunts and treasure hunts and I didn't really know uh, what they meant in the beginning and if you are in the same situation and you don't know really what it is then stay tuned. I will try to tell you right now so let's get right into it and let's take a look at this guy here on the rotator. This is a so-called regular treasure hunt. It's not a super treasure hunt, it's a regular treasure hunt. How do you know? Just take a look at the card here. Behind the car, behind the model, you see a silver flame and that means this is a regular treasure hunt. So, how rare is that? Well, it's not really rare. The thing is, let's change these guys here, I've got one unboxed. The thing is Hot Wheels is bringing out 15 different cases of models every year. So we have, you know, a case, is, um, it's, uh, it's a box with 72 models in the box and um, you know, when they bring out a new case we get different models and every 15 cases do have their own regular treasure hunt and they do have their own super treasure hunt. So basically this is just a mainline car that they declared a regular treasure hunt. Uh, by the way you can see it also on the car. Here you see the little flame and that means it's a regular treasure hunt. As I mentioned, it's not extremely rare. I think in every box is one of these um, regular treasure hunts. So um, of the other models, you get two, three, maybe four of them in one of these um, 72 uh, pieces boxes, um, but only one regular treasure hunt. So um, depends on your country, uh, what the people like um, and on the model. Uh, the thing is, um, here in my area normally it's not really hard to get. I think this, for example, this um, Subaru Impreza 22B STI version was very sought after in the US. Here in my area it was quite easy to get. Um, yeah, depends on the, on the model, how the people like it and so um, if you only have one in the box it's a little bit harder to find, a bit, but it's nothing uh, really um, really uh, worth a lot of money or something you know it's just a regular treasure hunt and uh, let's put this to the side I got another example here we got the Ragin Express uh, this is more like a fantasy casting might like it might not like it I do like it and uh, yeah here you can see it here is the logo with the flames so it's a regular treasure hunt I also got one in the in the packaging and you can see the silver flame. So regular treasure hunt is just a regular mainline with um, that is a little bit more rare but normally not really hard to find. Yeah so let's put this aside and uh, let's get to a super treasure hunt. Um, as you can see this is an older model. Unfortunately, I only found two Super Treasure Hunts so far because they are really rare, at least in my area, really, really hard to find. And as you can see here on the card, I hope you can see it, you got the golden flame. And that means this is a Super Treasure Hunt. Uh, by the way, um, depends on where you're watching here in my area, in Europe, we get these so-called short cards, you can see it in the US they do have the long cards and uh, yeah in the beginning I asked myself if there are uh, supers on these short cards, uh, short cards at all and yes there are so 
but the golden flame is not all. But um, first, I have to show you something else. So the super is, uh, let's call it another version of a mainline car. So um, here, uh, let's put the rotator to the side for a second so I can show you better. So on top, you see the super treasure hunt. And here you see the normal basic mainline car. So you see that um, these cars are different. We got different wheels here on the Super Treasure Hunt with this red ring around the wheels. And there's something else. If you take a close look here on the fender, I hope you can see it here. There is the TH logo and that means this is a Super Treasure Hunt. Um, and, you know, normal uh, main lines like this one here, they do have plastic tires. I hope you can see it. No uh, tread on them, just plastic tires, so they do work really well on a track. But the Super Treasure Hunt has real riders, rubber tires, and um, I hope you can see it. They got some tread on them. So, uh, yeah, this is a so-called super treasure hunt. And there are other treasure hunts. Unfortunately, I only got the super, not the main line, so I can't show you that. This is another super, so look right here, the logo. Uh, by the way, it's not one of my favorite cars, but uh, you know, a super is a super. Um, they do come uh, in a so-called Spectra Flame uh, livery. So uh, the mainline version is just, let's call it a normal blue, and this is more, yeah, uh, it's hard to describe. Yeah, Spectra Flame <laughs> pops more out. So if you are uh, seeing these on the packs, you will uh, easily notice them. They are really different. So, and by the way, the TH logo here on this one is on the top. It's also coming with real riders, Look right here, and um, yeah, it's it's got different wheels, like the mainline. Unfortunately, I didn't buy the mainline. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So this is also a super treasure hunt. Now, um, maybe let's put the, get the rotator back and uh, this one here. Um, now, uh, maybe you might ask yourself, okay, what is this worth? Um, first of all, these are really rare. Um, I couldn't find one uh, for a long time now. But um, yeah, that's how it is. So um, yeah, what's it worth? Uh, depends on your country and depends on the model. You know, there are models that are more sought after. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know uh, how much you pay for this uh, Corvette here on eBay for the Super Treasure Hunt. I guess it's not too much. I think um, this guesser here is not so popular in my area. I think um, you might get 50 euros maximum. I guess not more, but there are other, other models that are really sought after. Last year, for example, there was this uh, golden Honda Civic. You might get 100 euros or maybe even more if you want to sell one of those. And uh, yeah, then um, the thing is, um, if you go on the hunt, I mean, I personally, I don't do that anymore. You know, um, it's so, um, I'm, you know, I, I visit a lot of stores and um, I'm looking for a lot of main lines and it's, uh, in the last time it was impossible to, to find one of those. Even I opened some uh, brand new cases and I couldn't find um Super, so um, I mean, you can do it, and maybe you're lucky and will find one. But um, if you do that, it doesn't make sense that you take every car and uh, shake it and look um, if you see the golden flame. The thing is, you have to know um, what cases are in the store and what is the super treasure hunt in this case. Yeah? 
normally there are more than one case out so there are let's say three or maybe four or five possible super treasure hunts that you can get you know sometimes stores get um, older cases and um, then uh, you have to know which one is um, or Hot Wheels does as a super treasure hunt yeah? you don't have to look at every card it's a little bit of research you can uh, look it up on the internet in which case which car is the super treasure hunt if you want to look for that and then it's uh, kind of easy to notice um, normally you don't have to look at the back of the card you you will see if you if you see the super with its spectra flame and with its different wheels um, you will notice that so um, yeah that's uh, what I can tell you about super treasure hunts so as you can see the difference uh, by the way um, this one here is always a treasure hunt you can't find um, this one in or this Subaru in this livery is always the regular treasure hunt you can't find another version without the logo yeah? it's always the regular treasure hunt but the difference is here you have the main line that uh, you can normally find very easy and then you have the super treasure hunt which is kind of a special version of um, of the main line and by the way don't mix that up with Hot Wheels premium cars you know this is a video for beginners so um, I will tell you that this right here <coughs> it's one of the it's a, it's a premium car from last year it's um, a Porsche from this uh, from this video game and it's looking very cool so this is a Hot Wheels premium car that also comes with real riders but the main difference this one has a metal base and uh, normally they do have um, much more deco on them so don't mix it up this is a Hot Wheels premium car um, you have to pay 10 euros or maybe a little bit more uh, nowadays for those uh, these premium cars uh, now have also uh, chase versions but I will do a separate video about uh, those by the way so let's put these to the side so um, yeah I can show you some other main lines um, that you can get uh, this year as a super treasure hunt once again this is not the super treasure hunt this is the regular version of the Mercedes 300 SL and you see it's um, yeah the regular main line in uh, red livery and the super I am not really sure what kind of rims it has but it does come in a darker uh, red spectra flame uh, livery uh, same with this one here the Renault uh, Sport RS01 uh, or what is it called also a super treasure hunt this year not this one this is the regular mainline version and the last one that I will show you in this video is this guy here Mazda Cosmo Sport so if you are lucky you will also find the super treasure hunt version of this guy and uh, yeah that's it for this video I hope um, maybe I could help you a little I hope I didn't forget anything yeah maybe <laughs> you always notice after the video but um, yeah that's all I can tell you so far uh, if you if you did like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe this channel and i say thank you for watching happy hunting and uh, yeah see you next time bye